What's up guys and welcome back to another unboxing slash review video. Jai Ruhr has reached out to me and asked me to review this C1 electric scooter. So shout out to Jai Ruhr. I'm going to be unboxing this first, putting it together. I'm going to take a look at it. Then I'll charge it and we'll hit the street and talk about the specs and my opinion on this scooter. And that's it. That was pretty straightforward, pretty simple. One of the easiest unboxing I've ever had. This thing is uh, super light with the battery as well. So we have the manual, of course, with all the information you need as far as warranty and things like that. And it comes with a few tools like uh, hex keys, Allen keys that you may need for the installation and some extra ones. And it comes with a charger. The charger is one and a half amp hours. All right, so as always, at this point, I'm gonna let this thing fully charge, and then we're gonna hit the street, and I'll talk about the specs and my opinion of the scooter. All right, guys, here we are outside. The scooter is fully charged. We're gonna take it for a spin. I think they got like four different colors, orange, black, blue, and purple. The blue one looks really cool as well in the black, but I'm digging this orange. But let's get on this thing and start this review starting procedure super simple just got this on off button you press it and you're ready to go there are three modes there's mode one mode two and mode three so let's go to mode one and see what the the difference in speeds between the modes are got my speedometer open this is mode one looks like uh eight miles an hour or so is what we're getting on mode one the speedometer shows nine so it's just a little bit off all right so mode two and let's see what happens a little bit more speed looks like we're hitting about 11 miles an hour the speedometer shows 11.6 so it's closer all right and then let's pop it into mode 3 and see what we get Fifteen. Fifteen miles an hour on mode three, which is pretty much what they advertised. They advertised fifteen and a half, if I'm not mistaken. Now got my phone off, got my phone away. I'm uh, I'm really liking the uh, the maneuverability, drivability of this thing. Obviously, I would love more speed, but this is not that type of uh, scooter. So we got fifteen miles an hour which will probably make your battery last a really long time it's got such a low center of gravity especially with these like low profile tires it's kind of cool to like <laughs> I like the maneuverability of this thing oh look at this chihuahua what's up buddy? <laughs> I scared him these hub motors man they're so quiet it's like the true e-bike experience compared to like a mid-drive and don't get me wrong, I love mid-drive, but hub motor is just like a different experience altogether. But yeah, maneuverability on this thing is nice. The deck that it has down here is pretty wide. I think it's nine and a half inches, so there's plenty of room. And the material on it is like um, sandpaper, kind of like a, like a skateboard deck. The throttle on this thing is a half twist throttle, which I prefer personally better than the thumb throttle, let's just say. Well, yeah, this thing is cool. I've, uh, as I mentioned earlier, I never had a scooter that also has a seat, so this is kind of interesting. I think I found myself a spot right here. And let's stop real quick and talk about all of the specs. So what we got here is the Gyro C1 electric scooter with the seat. It's got a 450 watt brushless hub motor in the rear coupled with a 36 volt 7.5 amp hour lithium battery housed underneath the deck 
and that should give you a range of about 20 to 22 miles top speed is 15 miles an hour it's got 12 inch tires with this really cool rim design we have mechanical brakes front and rear with 140 millimeter rotor the deck as i mentioned is nine and a half inches wide we got a metal storage bin the scooter has a front headlight as well as an active brake light which is insane my five thousand dollar suron doesn't have an active brake light and this scooter has it weight limit on this thing is 265 pounds the stem over here folds so if you just undo this you can fold the stem and then it just locks into place the seat is adjustable in height as well and other than that we just have our half twist throttle digital display and we got a bell so those were all the specs on this thing let's continue riding and uh, see what kind of experience we get from it cool thing about this scooter is whatever mode you had it on last is the mode that it turns on to so if you had it on mode 2 it'll go back to mode 2 I keep it on mode 3 so it's always on mode 3 for me that's kind of nice it's a little little touch that you know I really like you're trying to race 15 miles an hour man <laughs> take care brother that guy did not want any smoke all right well I mean so far I kind of dig this thing I uh, again I wish it had more speed but it is what it is let's see what it does on a bump eh, not bad to be honest with you it does not have any suspension but um, honestly not the biggest not the end of the world let's see another bump over here how we do yeah not bad at all as far as uh, like power wise I think this thing will lift by its own yeah It'll definitely lift by its own that's kind of cool <laughs> I guess you can wheelie it <laughs> can we drift it worst come to worst we just bail <laughs> <laughs> that is hilarious yeah this thing is cool man oh dude that is crazy look at that little mark right here yeah the brakes aren't bad it's a 140 millimeter rotor but it's enough for this little thing this thing by the way is super light I think it's like 50 let's see I think it's like 50 pounds super lightweight the pickup speed is you know decent for what it is for a 350 watt hub motor it gets to speed fairly quick and maintains it this is kind of cool and yeah if this is something you guys are interested in i'll definitely have all the links in the description so you guys can check it out check out gyro they got a, a bunch of different products as well but that's pretty much it for me guys thank you very very much for watching i appreciate you and i'll catch you on the next one Peace.